There is this uh, story that I uh, share very frequently about the day I traveled to the UK to speak at a conference and as I put on my clothes at the hotel to go to the conference venue, I just felt something in the pocket of my suit. And when I pulled it out, it was an envelope and it had $1,000 inside it. Oh my, oh my. I can't forget that day. You know why? Just simply because it had not happened before that I would have a thousand dollars in an envelope somewhere and I wasn't even aware I was missing any money. I immediately had flashbacks in my mind, you know, to the time when previously I would need money. I mean, small amounts of money and I would begin to check the pockets of my trousers and my shirts and when I didn't find any money then I began to check through all my books I even checked the Bible too I would look through all my books just hoping that there was some note that I had somehow forgotten well I kind of knew I didn't forget <laughs> but I was just hoping that I did and to now have a thousand dollars in an envelope it was mine and I didn't even know I was missing anybody I mean my heart was filled with gratefulness okay so I know there are many people uh, that are still in the situation that I was in before the scenario where the money is not enough uh, there are many things you long to buy, many things you would be able to do. Many of them are actually just basic. But the money to do those things or to buy those things is just not there. So today I want us to discuss some of the basic principles that control the flow of money. I'll never forget the day I was walking through the airport hotel in Ikeja, Lagos. And... Oh, I saw a bookshop. It was a small bookshop. So I branched in. So as I was looking through the books on the shelf, my eyes felt on a particular one that grabbed my attention. It, it did not just get my attention, it grabbed it. It was titled Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Wow. Think they had not told me that before. That you can think and grow rich. I knew about work and you grow rich. But think, wow. So there's a connection between thinking and wealth. Absolutely, yes, there is. So that's our starting point today. So I began to read, I began to listen to audio you know, speeches on audio. I began to watch speeches on video over and over and over and over. And then I got close to some mentors who were way ahead of me. I realized that hanging around them shifted my mind. Oh yes, they already were what I wanted to become. So when I hung around them, I observed a few things. I observed that their speech was different, more positive. Yes, I observed that about wealthy people when I began to get close to them. That they are positive. Okay, they have a positive outlook on life. It's amazing. And then I stumbled on something and tried it. To cut pages of magazines and to stick them on the wall in my bedroom so that I could see over and over and over and over again that picture. Wow. The ones I was listening to, the same result. And I put some copies in my car and put them on continuous play. Gradually. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. 
I found out that I was changing on the inside. I found out the way I thought was changing. I was now beginning to think like my mentors. Yes. And at first that scared me. <laughs> you know, it was like I was a fake. You know, I was imitating somebody else. But I found out, well, some people say that you can fake it till you make it. <laughs> you fake it because your mind does not recognize the difference between reality and imagination. I would sit in on conversations and my, my mentors or senior friends would be discussing millions. Millions. Yes, millions. And they would talk about how they did this investment, how they disposed of it, sold it, and then got this in return, and then how much they paid, and so on. I just, I just kept quiet. I just kept silent. I realized some foundation needed to be laid for me before I would practically get into world creation. So the starting point is for you to believe that you are rich and you want to get yourself to that point as fast as possible. So remember what I said. You want to shift your thinking. You want to be able to conceptualize yourself as a prosperous person or a wealthy person. Read books. Read books on finances. I've read books written by millionaires. I've read books written by billionaires. I've had interviews with successful people. I've been able to ask them questions. I don't pass such opportunities by. Because the main thing is you want to defeat the pictures of poverty. You want to defeat the pictures of scarcity. Yes. In fact, you want to shift how you think. That's what you want to do.